Hello everyone, this is Shara, the Black Bisexual, and this is Spill It. Today we will have the epic realist come out and discuss all the wonderful things about their life. Um, what else? Yeah, so! <laughs> They're um, working on some things, so they will step in in just a moment, but I'm just ah, here to fill the time, so I hope everyone is doing well on this lovely overcast day. And okay, so today we are going to discuss with the Epic Realists just a few things that go on or are going on in their community and uh, their YouTube, which I should probably put down here. <laughs> Let's see, do, do, do. how do I put it? Mm. Let's see, all right. Yeah. All right, and she's here. Yay! Okay, okay, pin comment, and now. Hello, hello. Hey. hey. Can you see me? Yeah. Why is it leaking? Can you hear me? Oh. Uh oh. Got a little fuzzy. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. It looks dark on screen for some reason. Why is it so dark? Hold on. Hmm. What about now? Yeah, I can see you. Okay, wait. Yeah. Think a little bright. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, the it's overcast. Like opening my window just wouldn't uh -oh, matter. So, yay! Okay. Um. So uh -oh. go ahead and introduce yourself to the wonderful people, and uh, yes, introduce yourself. Go for it. <laughs> um, I'm Anna. I'm. The stay home mom. I have a YouTube channel and I like talking about a wide range of topics. I'm an artist, I'm a writer, and hmm, what else? I like talking about a wide range of things like polyamory and sexuality and nature, especially. Ooh, okay. See, we need more black nature. Yes, we do. Uh oh. Try to watch National Geographic for all those white people. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, wait, first of all, where are you from? You're freezing up a lot. Uh oh. What about now? Tell me when I clear up. Okay, a little better, I think. <laughs> okay. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Georgia, originally from New York, but I live in Georgia right now. Oh, cool. New York. Hmm? What part of New York? Oh, Brooklyn. Woo! Okay. Brooklyn. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. So tell me about uh oh your connection. It's trash, I know. Mm -hmm. and uh oh, your connection is going in and out. You see? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me see. Mm -hmm. What about now? I swear I'm gonna have to go hands free in a minute, or handheld. <laughs> Okay. What about now? Is it good? Somewhat. Okay. Damn it. <sighs> Tell me about the. Better, but, yeah. 
You keep... Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the things that you discuss in your YouTube channel and how everyone can find that channel. The things I discuss. Hmm. Well, let's see. Um, as I mentioned, in polyamory, bisexuality, sexual abuse, mm -hmm. um, and anything having to do with nature, like okay. nature topics. Cool. Um, sexual abuse is a huge one because I've been through that as a child, and mm -hmm. it's helping a lot of people when I finally came out with my story, and um, I'm able to help people through that, help them learn mm -hmm. how to heal. So that's how my channel got pretty big in the first place. So mm. I just kind of talk about those topics. And occasionally mm -hmm. I do gaming videos, usually. <laughs> that's cool. That's What games do you play? Uh, mostly PC games or mobile games. Okay. Or if, if it's something on my phone. You know, like okay. little fighting games, um, strategy games, fantasy games, any type of game. <laughs> oh, cool. Cool. All right. So, um, in your, huh? oh, what is your channel called? Yes, it's called Epic Realist. Epic Realist, yes. I think I spelled it wrong, but uh, I will put it in the yeah. notes, promises, promises, and uh, I will it's link it. You spelled it right the first I know I spelled it wrong on the advertisement. You're cutting off again. Damn it. Hmm? Let me know. Just let me know when I clear up. Okay. <laughs> okay. I okay, spelled it right okay. on the advertisement, and I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I was trying. I was trying to get it out there too quickly. <laughs> so. Hey, you got it right. So. The yes. 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 <laughs> How? Tell me. About, okay. Now on your channel that you discuss uh, besides um, abuse you mm -hmm. know are you are you poly are you bi yeah. tell me these things tell me these things mm -hmm. yes both of those so, yay! so when did you come out as either or both hmm? when, did I, what? when did you come uh -oh. when did you come out as either and or both Uh-oh. Am I fuzzy again? Have I frozen? Oh, no, you froze again? Damn. Okay. Wait, let me see if I can do this. You said when did I come uh -huh. out? Yes. Uh oh What about now? <laughs> Is it better now or worse? No, about the same. Dang. All right. I'm going to start walking. Do, 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 do. What about now? Yeah, it's a little bit, little bit better. But, okay. I'll go with a little bit. Okay. okay. I'll go with a little bit. So tell me when you came out as poly, as bi. As, tell me all the things. Tell me about that, that road for you, that journey for you. Okay, um, that journey technically wasn't that easy because I came out as bi when I was already married, mm -hmm. already married to a man. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really accept my bisexuality when I was in college. When I first started being attracted to girls, I didn't really accept it because I didn't know much about it. Um, I was raised pretty closeted, you know, Christian. I didn't even know bisexuality existed, to be honest. So I just kind of fluffed it off for how many years? Mm-hmm. And um, when I was about maybe 26, it started flaring up again. So I was like, wow, okay, this is what it's called, and this is, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. And um, when I first told my husband, it was, it was an interesting journey at first. <laughs> it wasn't all that easy, to be honest. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to leave me, and he thought I was going to leave him, and vice versa. But... but oh. Yeah, we thought that in the beginning, but it didn't didn't go that way. You know, he's still he's still with me, and he's understanding. Mm -hmm. So that was that was about five years ago. Mm -hmm. Around that same time, I came out as Polly because I really 
thought about having another woman here with us and mm. the, uh, the the um idea didn't seem so bad really because i don't really have friends per se so mm. i was kind of thinking it wouldn't be bad if we had another woman here and you know i think it would kind of help you know we have kids we have five kids so Ooh, that's, wow that's a hand mm -hmm. that's a handful of yeah <laughs> so I wouldn't see it as a big deal. Plus, I'm not really a jealous person. So me seeing him with another woman didn't really bother me. Mm -hmm. So I kind of came out as both of those around the same time, mm -hmm. you know, kind of not, not too far from each other. Okay. It just kind of went hand in hand for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, so are you still looking for a sister wife? Do you have one? How's that mm -hmm. journey going? Still looking. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. We've, we've had one before, but... It didn't go so well because that person, she was not ready at all for that lifestyle. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it didn't go very well. Mm -hmm. So, we only tried it once. Okay. Just so, everybody know, time. they're taking applications, just so <laughs> y'all know. I'm putting it yeah. out there. Yeah, we haven't, had, we haven't had much success with that at all. It's just mm. So, I well, just kind of put it down. You know, five kids is a lot. I understand mm -hmm. a lot of people don't want to deal with having that many kids. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are not really into the things we're into. You know, we're mm -hmm. kind of an odd black couple. You know, you know, we're kind of on the geeky side. You know, we don't do things as I guess normal people do. So it's it's kind of okay. Hard first of all, normal is a bad word here. Do not use normal black people. We are a spectrum. We are not a monolith. Black nerds unite. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm right. a Trekkie, okay, and we're about the same shade. Mm. So, yeah, trust me, mm. I understand. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it hasn't been easy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> now, is there a community you guys are connected with or anything like that? Or y'all just, you know, hanging out, doing you? Community? No, not quite. I wish. No community. Mm -hmm. I wish we did. Um, mm -hmm. I hang out online a lot, but and I don't have many friends. It's my husband, he doesn't have many friends. Not many people understand us, so we just kind of stay to ourselves mm -hmm. for now. Um, family, not really. We're not close to family. It's just been kind of, but mm -hmm. we're just kind of used to it. You know, our, we homeschool our kids. Mm -hmm. We're just kind of close-knit, mm -hmm. very close-knit, and it can only people. But... Mm -hmm. But the way our lives is, you know, a lot of times we don't have a choice, you know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's just hard, it's hard trusting people, especially after I've been abused for um, by my own father for five years. Mm -hmm. um, and my mother, she didn't send him to jail. So that kind of messed my life up a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's still with him and a whole bunch of other mess happened. So I'm not, I don't really talk to them and... Me and my family were not close. Mm -hmm. Me and my husband's family were not close. He's not really close to his family. So, yeah, there's not a lot of closeness there. Mm -hmm. Just kind of stay to ourselves and raise our kids the best way we can. That's mm -hmm. all we do. Well, I commend and appreciate the both of you for raising those five wonderful Black children because I know they're going to be awesome. And what are their ages? Like, what's the age range? Like, you got middle school to, like, preschool, or how's it rolling? Our oldest is our oldest is eleven. So okay. um, we got eleven, okay. ten, eight, six, and four. Yeah. Okay. You're yeah. trying to space them out. You're just like space, space. Don't want to keep changing diapers. Space. Mm-hmm. All right, cool, 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 cool. Well, you know what? You have a friend in me, Anna. So, you know, I'm definitely going to set up a Zoom or something so that you mm -hmm. and definitely your husband, if you're interested, can join. I know we're in different time zones. I will try to make it earlier just just mm -hmm. for you guys. Um, but, yeah, you know, don't – no man is an island. Don't feel like, you know, you're just out here in the great abyss because there are quite a few of us that – feel because we're uh, BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, people of color, you know, we're in these rural areas, or we're just not anywhere where we can connect with each other, especially now because we're all 
lacking community don't feel like you you're just i'm just out here just existing it's like oh no honey Mm -mm. no 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 i have to harass you now you are on my list of people to harass weekly i hope you enjoy that so yeah you won't mind yes awesome okay um now in nature do you guys like grow plants or are you just like going outside oh um, mostly just going jesus you froze okay you froze what happened <laughs> what'd you say oh no i said we don't i wish we could grow plants but we don't have a lot of space for that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so i just like going out taking walks in nature um I do videos on my channel, as I mentioned. I do nature videos. Like, I'll go to the lake and just take a video of it. Ooh. Do, like, little videos in nature, show the animals and the geese and the trees, stuff like Ooh. that. I feel like there should be a guided meditation with that. Just, like, yeah. and breathe in, hear the geese, and breathe out. That is <laughs> nice. Okay. It's like, hi, my name is Anna, and we're doing our guided meditation today. Please, everyone, take off your shoes. Thank you. Thank you. Now, let's start in our first position. Yes. And if you can't do it, just have a seat and do it. So, Mm -hmm. but I just, that's what I think nature is, because I don't get out much. I know Mm -hmm. it's bad, but mm, I don't care. I don't get out much. Um, I don't get out much. Yeah, but see, you have a good excuse. You have five kids that you're homeschooling, as opposed to me just being inside being weird. So, Mm -hmm. making videos on occasion. Um, I did want to ask, um, are there, is there any criteria you're looking for, for a sister wife? Not saying that I'm going to apply cause I'm all the way in California, but just for those that are interested, any criteria, you know, I know you're trying to avoid the crazy where they can find the application, what type of tax bracket you're looking for. Just those types. Tax <laughs> bracket. Well, um, it's like money or oh, money, mm. not the first date. Yeah. Um, what can I say about that? Um, just somebody who's, I guess, I don't know what the word is. Preferably that loves kids. Mm, yeah, definitely that too. Well, that's a must. There you go. Do you have pets? Um, no, I wish. <laughs> okay, okay, so no pets. <laughs> no pets, but, you know, you definitely have to love kids. Mm-hmm. Huh? Do they have to be cis? Oh, Can they be trans? Oh, mm-hmm. so they have to love kids, but can't. do they have to be cis? Mm, yes, I would say yes. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. To each their own. Um, (laughs) What else? Um, What type of education are you looking for? Are you looking for someone that Um, is local or could they be from somewhere else? You said education? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Okay. You know, they have a degree or anything? No, that doesn't Mm -hmm. really matter. Okay. I don't really, it doesn't matter. All right, I'm not too cool, caught cool. up on, you know, education or money or anything like that. Look at you being such a huge person, <laughs> Anna. Yes. Because I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of times education, education, still education doesn't really matter. You know? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Sometimes it doesn't really matter. Okay. For the most part. Mm-hmm. As long as okay. you can speak and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, as long as you got the basics, we're good. We're good. Yeah. So, as long as right. you're not speaking Ebonics and, you know, all that. <laughs> yeah, that, yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Ah, um, would you like to take any questions from the wonderful people enjoying our conversation? Uh, sure, I guess. All right. If anyone's got any questions for Anna, you can definitely um, ask them. A little question box right next to the comments. You guys don't have to have questions, but it's always lovely to have some. Um, let's see. 
what other information are you comfortable sharing? Because I don't like just asking questions mm-hmm. and you just kind of like on the spot, just like, mm, I want to ask that. So. Wait, I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. So you're originally from New York. Um, what's the difference between New York and Georgia? Which I know it's mm. huge, but. Well, frankly, it's been a long time since I've been. We moved and I was Oh, okay. 10. Oh, okay. I don't know how much has changed, but the area I was in, as far as it was extremely, you know, very poor and overpopulated, dirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember we had an apartment with a lot of roaches in it and rats. Yeah. (laughs) See, this is why I will not go to the East Coast. I'm not saying all the East Coast is like that, but New York doesn't need me. New York does not need me. Mm -mm, Mm-mm, mm-mm. No love lost, but New York does not need me. I'll go for a vacation. I'll right. go for, like, to see Broadway for two days. But mm, no, no. New York doesn't need one more Black-ass person. <laughs> no. Not we do have a question. Um, oh, okay. This is from Cheeky Face. Love, JP. Mm-hmm. Hi, JP. It says, where do you see your future in five years? Hmm. To be honest, I hope to have some books out finally because I'm a writer, but not many people know I'm a writer because I haven't had a chance to stick to writing in a long time. So Mm -hmm. I hope Mm -hmm. to actually be an author, actually be some kind of author at some point. Nice. Now, what type of books would you like to put out? Um, Poetry. Right now I'm writing a lot of poetry. Kind of write erotica, but I'm not sure if I'll go back to that for sure. Kind okay. Of okay. <laughs> you know, we need um, more black authors in that. Thank you. Please and thank you. You know, go and just put one out on Amazon. Everybody at least puts one out. You know, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm always erotica. So, like I said, I'm not mm-hmm. sure if we'll go back to that. But right now, my main thing poetry out. I have a lot of poetry I want to get out. All right. I just haven't figured out how to put together, like self publishing mm-hmm. and all that. It's a whole thing I haven't figured out yet. Mm-hmm. It is a lot. Yeah. It is a lot. Okay, we have another question, and it says, what are you most proud about when it comes to your life? What am I most proud about? Let's see. I'm most proud that I'm still alive, I guess. I'm still thriving, even Woo! though I <laughs> Even though I came from a sexual household, I'm still thriving enough to have kids and be sane, I guess. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people mm-hmm. in my situation, they're not strong enough. They don't make it. And mm-hmm. um, it's, it's sad because everybody takes things differently. Exactly. But for me, for me, my husband, when we met, he helped me a lot of, out of a lot of situations mm-hmm. where I could have gone down instead of up. Mm. So, very grateful for that. I just love black and white bitches. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my mm-hmm. god, I'm gonna harass you guys so much. Now I have to ask, are you signed up for Friendsgiving? Hmm? Uh yes. I think I did. Okay. Yeah. okay. I, I answered the email back, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, for all of you that don't know, there mm-hmm. is a post on my page for Friendsgiving. Look into it. Uh, the last day to sign up is mm-hmm. this. It's this coming Friday on the 30th, just the day before Halloween. Do not forget. Mm. Um, what else? Yes, I just wanted to make that plug about Friendsgiving because it's really important that, you know, we still find and create and and continue community because a lot of us like you yourself Anna kind of fall off and you know we still need friends we still need friends we still need community and it's four to six my time so it's like seven to nine your time Mm -hmm. so kind of late for you but you know if you could just if you just want to pop in and pop out it's not that deep yeah I will yeah, I'll, I'll see how that goes when the time comes. Soon. Yes, there you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. I'll be sending links out in a week or so. Oh, okay. 
<sighs> trying to keep all this stuff together. It's like, oh my God. <sighs> yeah. Okay. I have to make sure my kids are out of the way and quiet because if exactly. not, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. You have other responsibilities to do so, to take care of. So if you, you know, you can't make it, this mm -hmm. won't be the only uh, community esque project that I'm working on. There will probably be a New Year's party. New Year's Eve party because I like to stay up. Mm. I like to do something. I might have to dress up and be cute. So you heard it here first, people. There might be a New Year's Eve party. And I know JP nice. will totally be down for that. So I think those are all my questions. I don't want to be like knee deep in your business or nothing. I just wanted you to come here and plug your YouTube and just everybody see your smiling pixelated face. Um, <laughs> Well, I see cheeky face towels. Yes, he's adorable. Yes, Eric, thank you so much for sharing with us, Anna. Is there anything you'd like to add uh, before we wrap up? Anything, any last ideas you want to share? Um, I don't think so. Well, I do uh -oh. like to work out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, working out is nice. Okay, so you might find like a digital gym buddy. So all y'all out there, Anna likes to work out. So wait, I didn't ask what your pronouns are. Are they she/her? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. I <laughs> I should not be assuming. I apologize. I should do better. No, you you but... did ask me on Zoom. You did. Okay, okay. Who I asked before? I asked before. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Okay. No worries. All right, well, Anna, thank you so much for coming. I greatly appreciate it. We all appreciate this conversation. And mm -hmm. uh, we will see you, if not for uh, Friendsgiving, we will see you for the New Year's party. All right? Cool. All right, so you have a great day. And it was mm -hmm. lovely talking to you. And you guys can find her YouTube. I will post it in the comments of this video so everyone else have a wonderful day and see y'all soon bye bye bye